so I have found the best settings for controller players. I've been playing this season a lot and I finally found the perfect settings. These settings will work for everyone on console and PC. With these settings you can have crazy aim just like this and you can have fast mechanics and good piece control. I will fully go over my settings and explain them to you. I will show you how to reduce input delay so you can edit faster and have better mechanics and I will also show you how to get these big stacking damage numbers when you laser someone. But first let me show you what I can do in some tilted zone wars. The settings will be after the gameplay. These kids are fighting. Aimbot? Yeah I'm pushing that. Yep, GG bro. 200! Oh my god. 1v1. Yep, full beast. 100. Oh yeah, GG bro. Bro, these settings are crazy. Like, I feel so fast. Yo, what the heck? Okay, it's an NPC, my bad. Full beast. Bro almost died. GG. Oh, this guy wants to build fight. Nah, bro. 100. Now he's running away. Come here, boy. Dead. Hundred. One of them is weak. I hit him. Yeah, come here. Alright, it's a 1v1. But this kid's just camping in the box. I'm gonna shockwave. Yep, GG, bro. So easy. What the heck? Bro's using balloons. Beast? Bro, what? Oh my god. Almost died. Oh, he was one. Alright, GG. Easy win. Come here. Yep, GG, bro. Beast? Oh my god. 1v1 100 Alright He wants to build fight 100 Yeah, so easy 100 Full beast GG bro Alright, so let's get into the settings. I'm gonna show you my settings and fully explain them to you. So starting off with the graphics settings, make sure you have 120 FPS mode on console. I don't use any colorblind mode, but I do put my brightness pretty high so I can see better. Also, make sure to turn off motion blur. Motion blur gives you more input delay and we want to reduce our input delay so we can edit faster. Moving on to my audio settings, this is nothing special, just make sure you have turned on visualized sound effects, that way you can see footsteps. For my game settings, just make sure you have the closest matchmaking region set, so you have the best ping possible. Toggle sprint I have this on, auto open doors I have this on as well. Hurdle and mantle activation I have this on hold and press to jump. These settings are not that important, but just copy them just to make sure. For my combat settings, I have the first off. I have auto pickup weapons off as well but this is just preference you can also put it on if you want. A lot of people actually have this on and it's a good setting. For my preferred item slots you can copy my item slots. I have the shotgun in the first slot, AR in the second, the third and fourth slot I have unassigned and fifth slot is a consumable so that's usually like heals. You always want to have your shotgun in the first slot so you can pull it out faster after building. That's why controller players always have the shotgun in the first slot. So moving on with the settings, auto sword consumables to the right, I have this on but it doesn't really matter if you have preferred item slots. These four building settings right here are very important, you want to have the first three on, disable pre-edit option, that's just gonna make you not have pre-edits so you're not gonna mess up your edits, turbo building of course you want this on and reset building choice you want this on as well, auto confirm edits I have this on both which allows me to edit super fast and a lot of controller players use this on both. These extra game options just copy them but make sure you have tab to search interact on 
and also these FOV settings just put them as max as you can so that's 75 and 105 degrees. These are new settings and I've seen all the pros just have it on max so that's what we're gonna do as well. For the replays make sure to turn off all the replays because replays give you more input delay so just turn off all the replays. If you think about it you're recording the game and you're also playing the game it can give you more FPS drops. Moving on to my game UI settings these are my reticle settings that will give you the big damage numbers when you laser someone so copy my settings right here. I have damage numbers on list and the damage number scale as big as possible and my HUD scale is at 60%. 60% just looks very clean to me it doesn't take up too much of the screen. So if you put your HUD scale super big it's not gonna look good it's gonna look super clunky and you can't really see the screen when you're playing on the big HUD scale. So I keep my HUD scale at like 60 to 70%. I'll go through the rest of the settings on game UI so you can just copy them if you want. Moving on to the gyro options, turn off everything here, this can give you more input delay. Same goes with keyboard settings, if you don't play on a keyboard, just turn everything off because it can give you more input delay. And moving on to my controller settings, I have controller auto run on, build immediately, you definitely want this on. Edit hold time, make that as low as possible. Slide hold time, I have this on 150. Reset camera axis, put this on both and reset camera time as low as possible. Also make sure to turn off vibration because vibration can just mess with your aim this quick weapon setting this is a new setting that fortnite added and i don't really like it so i keep it on custom only which is like the default they've had for years for my sensitivity i use a 2.2 on edit and build mode sensitivity i use advanced options and my horizontal and vertical speed is at 40 percent i don't use any boost on my sensitivity and my ads speed is at 14 percent but i don't use any boosts anywhere and of course I play on linear 100% aim assist strength. My dead zones are at 10 and 5% but you just put your dead zones to where you don't have any stick drift. I have mine at 5% because I don't have any stick drift on this controller. But if you have stick drift just put it a little bit higher. Anything between 5 and like 15% is good. Anything above that is just bad. Moving on to my controller keybinds. Now I play right hand claw on the PS5 controller. If you don't play right hand claw I would not suggest you use my keybinds. I edit with my triangle and I jump with X. I pull out my builds with my left stick. I sprint with my touchpad. These are very weird keybinds, but if you play Claw, these are the perfect keybinds. So if you want to learn Claw, I would suggest you try my keybinds and go and practice in some of my maps. So I will go through all my keybinds and you can copy them if you want. If you play Claw or maybe you want to learn Claw, you can copy my keybinds. If you don't play Claw, I have showed other keybinds in my last settings videos, so you can check those videos out as well. If you want to learn Claw, I also have a Claw tutorial on my channel, so go check that out. And if you want to edit as fast as me and build like me, bro, look at the gameplay in the background. Go watch my Edit Faster tutorial or my Free Building tutorial, those are amazing videos if you want to improve and get better at the game. So yeah, that's gonna be it for the video, make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.